Hello. Who's that? <laughs> no, it's me. It's me. It's me. Happy New Year to you all. It's uh, just after lunchtime on uh, on New Year's Day. I just thought I'd make a special short video. I just want to thank a very special guy who, who did a very kind thing over Christmas and featured my channel on his channel and sent quite a lot of traffic over to my channel and uh, from that I got lots and lots of views, in fact record views for 48 hours and also a record number of subscribers in a day. I think I got about 28 subscribers in one day which is actually about 5% of my total subscribers. So thank you to Grumpers Workshop, Loz, thank you very much. Now I've been checking some of your YouTube videos out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link I'm going to put a link in the description to your channel but also at the end of this video is where you can put a couple of videos that you might like to watch I'll I'll feature a couple of Loz's videos there as a thank you so please return the compliment and go over to his channel it was very unexpected my channel's had quite a good December actually at the beginning of the month I had a lot of views with my obelisk video which is by far my most popular video I think it's around about 13,000 views at the moment so I assume a lot of people probably got garden obelisk for Christmas <laughs> and then a couple of days after Christmas when Loz released his video I got this huge surge in, in popularity and I actually thought that the YouTube algorithm would just been kind to me I'd, I actually wasn't aware at all that uh, Loz had done that so it was only when I got um, three messages in quite short succession from new subscribers saying they'd found my, the way to my channel from Loz's recommendation I wondered what was going on and then also Loz did send me a, a message congratulating me on joining the 500 subscriber hub so uh, that's nice that now means that the community tab is open to me not quite as yet I've had a look since and it takes YouTube about seven days to uh, to open that up to you so maybe by the end of this week I'll uh, I'll have that function to play with so I'm uh, talking to you this morning from what I call workshop two which is our family home down in in the southwest corner of France some of the videos that you see of me usually outside in the sunshine are made down here this is where the rage 5 saw is and in fact that's the old ethos of the small loft workshop it was created as a feeder workshop for the projects that we're doing here so my i usually just because of my time here is so restricted especially with covid that i make the things that i need here and everything I need to make is made, it can be no bigger than about 1600 millimetres, about five foot six. So it can go in my roof box and then I bring it down here and install it down here. It just maximises the time I have down here. What I have found over the last few years, and I've had this house since 2006, is that all my tools down here was quite poor really. I bought the new tools for the small loft and then relegated tools here. Uh, this year has been a little bit different I've actually bought some new tools here the Rage 5 being the, the biggest expense of course back in the small loft I bought a few things this year the the Festool track saw was my biggest purchase but I've also bought some accessories I'm really liking the bench dog things I bought and actually from a YouTube point of view the videos I've made on there have been really successful so I started the YouTube channel off in at the end of February UK was in lockdown and and I think like a lot of people I created started YouTube just just out of fun really I didn't really intend to do much with it but it actually was my second channel anyway my my first channel that I intended to make was actually about my sport of triathlon which I've been competing in for the last 10 years although because of Covid and lack of sport I'm absolutely not as fit as I was in kind of that 2010 to 2019 actually the big screen TV in the small loft workshop is the remnants of what was my spinning room I had my bike up there for my Zwift sessions so it's just been repurposed really into my workshop okay right that's me done. Let's go get some firewood, Gracie. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. <laughs> 